Alright, I'm gonna set the medium high. Hope this game works on 4K. Why not? I still don't know what I can play on 4K yet. Probably can only barely play shit. We'll see. As you can see, my steam is very small. It's just small. It's a very small. Four K, medium high. Okay. Arnold Lance. Okay. I guess that'll be okay. <coughs> Ooh. Got my air conditioner on, so. I triggered, I triggered something. But what? I triggered something, but what? I triggered something, but what? Feel my wrath. Oh, I don't feel too good. Ah! 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 Ugh. I triggered something, but what? Feel my wrath. Oh, you're gonna let a loop on this for a while. Too good. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Triggered something, but what? Feel my wrath. Oh. Yeah, he's an aristocrat. I was just drawing a little bit there, sorry about that. Here we are, far below, the place where our disciples become true dragon slayers. And today, the honor is yours. Not coming with me? I'd like that. Though I should very much like to enter the village again, I am forbidden to do so. Only once in their lives may dragon slayers enter it, as disciples. In any case, it would be imprudent to join you. This is a part of the journey each slayer must walk alone. Not completely, no. After the initiation, we will head back to River Town, where the ritual will come to its conclusion. But let's talk about that on the Zeppelin when we head back, shall we? They are quite simple. Seek out the men and women who reside here and benefit from their knowledge. That may sound a bit funny, but don't worry. Farglow will explain itself. You'll have to see for yourself. Don't be so apprehensive. You'll be fine. This is a momentous step in every Slayer's life, but few have fared badly afterwards. Good luck, Slayer. And the journey of Arnold Lance begins.
It's a relatively new game. I mean, I can play at 4K and medium high, so. Who knows? It's pretty good, I guess. Let's see if I remember these controls. Uh, put my fist away. Uh. I'll put my fist away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Got stuck there. The disciple arrives. Let me bid you a fond welcome to Fargo. And I commend your patience, mostly as load being referred to as a pupil. Such a belittling word, disciple, is, wouldn't you say, for one who has since the age of ten been groomed to become the elite of man's warriors. But don't you worry, you earn the title of Dragon Slayer soon enough. Couldn't have put it better myself. In fact, I have but one thing to add. Morgana is waiting by the waterfall. Find her, and the purpose of this day shall become crystal clear. The Archmage. She's an intimidating woman, to be sure, but uh, pleasant enough in her own way. Her laboratory is at the back of the village, next to the Divine Memorial Flame. Ooh, several people, but she'll send you on your way after her part of the ritual. The others probably won't share more than a few words with you until they know you've visited Morgana. And you, Slayer. Ta-da! Gonna be a mage. Maybe. Or a ranger? I remember there was two. There was, you could be a warrior or like a knight or like a ranger or like a mage or wizard. Um, I don't know why. I'll be a, like, a, no. like a mage or Combine uh, that brew with last night's house destination might cause an implosion. Try it anyway. Let's see you can be so irresponsible sometimes. That's easy for you to say. You can't die a second time. I didn't get far in the scheme. I like it though. Good to see you, disciple. I am Morgan, the Archmage of Song. Oh, everybody makes a bit of a fuss when you seem to be slain. We all have our fields of study, and a good life too. But the village can get a tap down now. But let's turn to the reason you are here. The ritual that will make you a true dragon slayer. To be a slayer is to hate the dragon, but also to understand it. No other order in Revelon takes the old military adage, know your enemy, hate, so seriously as the Academy does. To attain this goal, I will infuse you with the memories of dragons. It will make you understand their language, motives, powers, and weaknesses. It will also color your eyes silver, the noted characteristic of the Slayer, which will enable you to see the spirits of the dead. The ritual has a side effect, but nothing can be done about that. The real drawback is this. The spell was not originally designed for the brain of a human, so to make place for it, you will lose your active knowledge of your years as a slayer. Well, she it. It's unpleasant. I realize that. But a slayer needs those dragon memories in order to operate. The only comfort here is that your power still persists in the subconscious. So, 
You'll regain your skills rather quickly. Becoming a dragon slayer is a harsh occurrence until you become one of Rivalry's greatest heroes. Then prepare to become a dragon slayer. Again, my friend, your path is an empty page ready to be filled with tales of wonder, of adventure. But before you trot out of here in search of dragons and distinction, make sure you meet the veterans here. Alberic, Aravir, and Gawain know more about their trade than anyone you are likely to meet. And don't forget Isabel. The gift she will share with you, aside from the dragon memories, is the most prominent one you will receive in Zen. The memories not only give you more insight and knowledge than a man could absorb in a century of unbroken study, they also protect you from mind attacks the dragons perform. Without that, you'd be a puppet doing their bidding. Now, you have equal mental strength, so dominance in combat can be achieved. Quite so. You could call it a palace that comes with the power of the memories. Everyone can see the living there, of course. Those poor souls that have fallen prey to necromancers. But to see the ghosts of those long dead is a precious ability, and will prove useful more frequently than you may think. No, no, they have. Your training has made you a force to be reckoned with, and has shaped your mind and rivals the wise teachers of old. Lesser people will be driven mad by the dragon memories. Only one as arduous and trained as yourself can absorb them. Take comfort in the fact that slayers like Rode and Marius have faced the same ordeal and went on to become mighty warriors. Divine blessing, slayer. The last ingredient needed to achieve the effect of luminosity still eludes me. They need the good hands and fire flowers. That might solve the brightness issue, but wouldn't exactly improve the taste. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> ah, yes. There's that famous wit of his. Slayer, meet Tom. Most are chilled to the bone the first time they see a phantom. Most ghosts you'll meet are there because of unfinished business. The strength of their will not to move on until that business is settled is what binds them to the material world. In my case, it was my passion for alchemy. I would not find tranquility until I have fathomed all its innermost enigmas. Could take a while still. Why, the Hall of Echoes, of course. Don't tell me you've never heard of it. It's a transitional place between our world and the next. Rumor has it your memories are eaten away so that you can enter the afterlife unburdened by the sorrows of this life. An unnecessary precaution, if you ask me. I have mostly fond memories of my time in Riverlock. Know where to find me. How is that medicine coming along? General Luxuria shall soon. It's pretty cool. See, I'm gonna use magic. I remember getting this part at least. Having the uh, teachers in this village. You can choose different paths. This I person. see you have met me, Garner. That means we can proceed. Do me a favor and think of something, anything, <laughs> but don't speak aloud. They're all cute. Are you social justice warriors? Are you watching this? All these women? And they're not little. 
damsels in distress either. I might work on that. Okay, I know what I gotta do now. Talk to these people. What? Oh, the newborn. Uh, yes, I'm Alberic, the wizard. So, magic, you know, I recommend it. I don't have all day. My experiments, they keep me very busy. But fine, go ahead. Oh, many things. I am currently trying to make the metaphysical profession, which is turning out to be quite a challenge. Then there's the perpetuum mobile, and the turning of base materials into gold. I think the combination of the two would make for especially interesting results. If you like, just try not to burn down our enclave, would you? Sonia is near the arena entrance. She'll tell you the rest. Yeah, I'm getting gold. I got experience last time, but it didn't really do much. Did he give me his weapon? Shine brighter than they did before you came to Farglow, Slayer. Gawain's the name. Old Paladin of the Divine Order. My life has always been that of the Blade. It is an art I will teach you, should you want me to. Mm, pretty cool, but I'm not going to The Divine do Watch over you. Look at you. Not a scar on your rosy skin. You're a newborn, if ever I saw one. Well spoken. Not everyone has that attitude so soon after the memory ritual. The best thing to do is to get back in the saddle as quickly as possible. Just say the word and I'll give you something to fit. Good. Get ready to blast some goblins. Hmm. Oh shit. Not yet. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Oh shit. Flames of victory! Well, I was better as a ranger, I don't know. Oh, there's another one.
someone has a new shine in the eyes. And so, back for more, are you? It's a good way to get started, to relearn moves and skills quickly. As you know, some swear by the sword, others by the bow, and still others by magic. <coughs> you were well versed in all three parts, so once you are out on missions, you can combine your skills as much as you like. The most important thing is defeating the enemy. How you do that is entirely up to you. Always welcome, Slayer. All right. Let me check this out if I can. Uh. Uh. It won't let me view anything. Okay. Just that. I guess that's it. You look more than ready to head back to the Academy Slayer. But remember, you may only have one of the veteran's spells on you when you leave. So choose wisely before you depart. Got a magic, magic club. Okay, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I like that new sparkle in your eyes. As the name says, it's a shrine that bears a flame in honor of the divine. The bowl in which the flame was lit is held aloft by stone dragons. This design symbolizes the burden they carry on their shoulders. The guilt that was heaped upon them when they killed the divine. And you, Slayer. All right. Getting close to ending this video, this first part anyway. Might play some more of this game. Maybe? Who knows? Finally, you are here. I apologize, but I'll have to extend my congratulations later. Moments ago, we received word a dragon was spotted in Broken Valley. While this surely is exciting news, the timing is less than perfect. You were supposed to do a ritual that would channel the dragon memories, which is extremely important for your health and that of your surroundings. If we postpone it for too long, you will go dragon wild, and the ones that survive that terrible affliction spend the rest of their lives in deep dungeons, eating their own tongues and clawing out their eyes. Horrible though that prospect may be, the dragon takes precedence. So, I hope you'll be able to improvise along the way. I see you've been working on your magic skills. You're sure you want to face our foe as a wizard? The destiny of the Dragon Slayers shall come to its conclusion at last. Quickly now, all aboard! <laughs> 